Hi, this is Belinda Aussie Stitcher coming to you on this 20th of March 2022. Hi guys, I am back. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but we have moved into our house. We have extremely dodgy internet. And so this is going to be a very, very quick update. I'm just basically going to show you the one project that I worked on in February and March as I was packing and moving. And then what I have received in gifts um, for my birthday in February and things that I brought and any photos or stuff I'll do in my next update. Um, sorry if I look a little bit it was like I literally have time to do this. I'm going to do it, try and make this as short as possible because we haven't got the satellite internet set up yet and that's turned into issues. So, um, in my next video I'll do photos and that of the house. Some of these will be interested, some of these won't, so I'll put it at the end in the next video. So, for random reasons, I worked on Strawberry Fields Forever by Blackbird Designs and I worked on it until I was done. I have a finish, guys. It doesn't happen often, but it was just easier to stick with one um, whip that I could just pick up whenever. You can notice very dirty walls um, we got new ceilings put in and we had to move, side note, really quickly um, towards the end. So we're in the process of washing walls, painting walls, amongst the billion of other things we've got to do. So I know these are dirty and it doesn't look great. At some point they'll be fixed. I don't know when. Seating's coming up. I don't even have a kitchen in this house at the minute. So it is what it is. Back to my finish. Ha! Oh, look at that, that looks so good. Reasonably good light. So this is Color Cassade 32 count in old map style. I'm pretty sure. All the cord full colors. There is a mistake in there, but it was one stitch out in the border, but it managed to work in fine. So, I really did enjoy this. And that house wasn't as big of a pain as I thought it would be. Um, my colors were the cord for Gentle Art and um, Weeks. I have to say though, my, uh, which ones was it? It was, Tin Bucket and Garden Gate. Didn't really look that different. And, The brick and country red didn't really look that different either. So I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't have um, the necessarily like, um, obvious look with the wing and stuff and down here where mine kind of blends in a bit the wing. I mean it's you can notice it but it's not big of a difference and there's yeah it is what it is I don't dislike it not sure if it was worth the money to have hand dyes when you couldn't see the difference now I did mine 32 count two over two and I have this much left of baked apple sorry it was baked apple not brick um, with Week Style Works and the rest were pretty healthy leftovers that can be used for another project. 
So yeah, no, I really did love this project. I can't necessarily tell you how many stitches I've done in February. I did like 1,500, 2,000 at the max. And then I did 2,000 in March to finish this off. I changed the B to the S to match our last name. But yeah, it's done. And the lighting looks really good. Even though that wall looks so bad. Sorry guys. Um, so that's done. And I have a spare project bag. Still haven't started anything. Still haven't felt the need to. I will have to pause this though because got something else to show you right I'm back let's see if I can organize myself it took me you, you know when you're out of practice when you're trying to stop your video and you're like where's the stop ah that's why it took me a bit so I got a parcel the day after my birthday from journey of a stitcher now journey of a stitcher is an Etsy store that I brought quite a lot of stuff from a couple of years ago and then they closed down she has reopened um, she does sell some charts and she also makes the most gorgeous project bags I have been eyeing these project bags off but I don't need any like I really really don't need any so I'm like why have I got a gift like not a gift a parcel from Journey of a Stitcher I open it up beautifully wrapped with this tea so beautifully decorated was a happy birthday from Jessie Jessie Marie sent me a birthday present and it was stunning guys I got a flamingo bag sorry Sarah this is mine um, beautiful and funky and so well made, beautifully stitched. That's the inside of it. Um, just love it. Just love it. It was like the perfect gift. Just knew I wanted a bag from Jenny of a Stitcher. I will put her Etsy shop below. She has lots of different types, like not types, a lot of different um, st styles, combinations. So there's, you know, a bit more out there, a bit more um, what I would call more sampler looking bags that you, know, you put a sampler in. Um, and then you've got, like, there's, I think there's an different, enough different types of combinations to suit everyone's type. But I just love it. So really made. So well stitched. Just love it. And then like a week later, I get another journey of a stitcher bag. And something is sticking to it. Again, beautifully wrapped with some tea. I actually do not drink tea. So my kids are going to be grabbing it. And it's from Megan, Stitching May. Um, just loved how they were wrapped so thoughtfully. And she got me this one. And it's so beautiful with the owls and the moon. Like, and then inside it's this fabric. Just as I said, like, I've got... <laughs> The different types you know you've got bright and this and then you've got beautiful in this but yeah thank you guys love it if you're in Australia and you're looking for project bags also some charts especially from the market ones I think she's getting in head to journey of a stitcher you can't go wrong her service is amazing I also got in eventually in a long way around um, the bags that I brought I feel like it's six months ago now from stitch and button um, then they put that halt on all mail from the USA to Australia she got these to us amazingly 
so this is what I mean guys I do not need any more bags but yeah I'm not gonna say anything else so I've got this one loving the light and how it's just picking up um, this one and again I mean stitch and button has her theme uh, zipper pulls I do not know why but this one tickled me just don't know why and you can't live on a farm without a John Deere project bag we've got quite I think we've got two John Deere tractors a John Deere mower and conditioner and we just brought a John Deere um, I don't know how you would actually I don't name of it it's the seeding bin where you put your seed and fertilizer in so you have the tractor you have the seeding bin that has the fertilizer and your seed in it and then you have the um, actual seeding rig behind that anyway <laughs> more information than anyone needed to know and I also got I need a minder because coffee she also sent me, because you know, Vic and I are really good friends, she sent me a birthday bundle of just lovely goodness. And all of these things you can get in her store. So, I got um, it's a needle with thing to help with the um, did some pieces I'm blanking at the minute I know I know what I'm wanting to say but it's not there <laughs> um, I mean I would use it as helping getting um, threads out plus poking threads in that's what I would use it there is another name for it I can't think of like or well, not name it's a proper name and I just can't think of it in blue I love blue so really cute uh, scissor thumb with the nine and three quarters pretty things to help keep your fabric wound up also they're like reminding me of hair clips, but they're literally to way winding up fabric to keep them out of uh, put them out of the way. Some scissors, a seam ripper or a thread ripper. For a minute there, I thought it was a guy going to the toilet, but no, it's a simmer wrestler. It's like, why did she put a guy going on the toilet? Yeah, you can't really see it, but it's a simmer wrestler. But anyway, is it a seam ripper? That's what I thought it was. I can also, I can hear Vicky yelling at me going you stupid person it's this you should know what it is and a uh, thread drop and lucky last I got um, my goodness Tape measure. Oh my goodness, I just totally blanked. So, all awesome, amazing 
gifts. Um, in December, I kind of had a couple of things I kind of wanted to get that on my um, stitching bucket list and it was the Owl Forest um, embroidery. So that came in. I was a little like shocked on how small the boxes came in. I got four things. So this is the first one. Um, Enchanted Forest because it doesn't, I worked out where it, where it says um, because Russian. So it's a gorgeous kit and I'm not going to do this for all of them but it comes with um, bobbins with the symbol on it and the hand dyed threads which is just beautiful colours. A little thank you and how to cross stitch in case you need help. I got a needle minder and a needle. The fabric. And very nicely folded charts. And I think I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I was expecting bigger boxes for whatever reason, but really happy with how it came. So cute, full of information. And I'm glad I got it before the whole war. I'm not going to get political, political. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm not doing well with words. You can tell it's been a while since I've done a floss tube. Um, I'm never going to blame the people of a country for a war that they have no say in. And that's all I'm going to say. It's tragic what's happening, but I'm not going to blame the people that have no say with what their leaders choose to do and what they get told to do. Um, I got... Now, does it tell me? No. I got this one. It's beautiful. I can't read what it is. It's all in Russian. So. Another beautiful one, beautiful fabric, beautiful threads. This one is the Bewitched Swamp. This one has 15 colors. And that the other one had eight, the one with the owl. And the 100 owls. It has 15 colours. The price when I brought them converted to Australia was actually pretty reasonable considering it's fully kitted and the postage to Australia was pretty good. This came in February, I think, so it was reasonably good in postage time as well. Um, also, I enter most months into the Silks For You competition to win their Thread of the Month and I won March and I have to say I'm pretty pleased with what I won. It's a little bit ratty because the Michaela keeps touching it. So I can't think of the number but it's March's Colour of the Month. It just reminds me of Michaela. So I'm going to do this for something for Michaela. Um, Stitch and Button Vicky has suggested looking at ink circles. And I think I found one. I'm still not really in the mood to start anything. So. Just so beautiful and happy and gorgeous. Alright folks. And that's all i got for you. Not a lot. It took more time showing you all the rest of the stuff. Um, but we've moved and it's 
going to be great and it's going to be nice when I've got clean walls and freshly painted walls. Um, we, so, that there, that white thing, which I'm not going to get, is um, where a wall used to go from there to there and then there was a wall from like there, basically where I'm sitting, where there was a hallway that we took down as well. That's why there's lots of stuff that needs to be done, still lots of painting, the ceiling needs to be painted, the bathroom's in, I've got no kitchen. Um, like I said before, it's just lots of stuff that still needs to be done and we're coming up to seeding. And lots of stuff has been happening in the whole farming area as well. So I'm gonna let it go because I reckon this is gonna take a good three to four hours to upload as it is because the internet is pretty crap and so I can get the satellite. So I'm gonna let you go. Um, happy stitching, hopefully, and oh, thank you so much for all the subscribers, all the viewers that I've noticed I've gone up in people actually watching as well. It's amazing, all the comments, all the likes, everything. I haven't been able to reply back because we moved and internet suck. Um, so thank you, thank you, you guys are amazing. Thank you and happy stitching. Till next time.